So in the given circuit, let Vc of 0 plus is equal to 5 volts. Find Vc, Vx and Ix for T greater than 0. It means that they have given that initially there is a charge across your capacitor that is your 5 volts and we have to find this Vc and Vx and Ix for T greater than 0. So in the circuit we have 3 resistors that is of 5 ohms, 8 ohms, 12 ohms and 1 capacitor that is of 0.1 farad. So by seeing the circuit here we have to find what is a Vc, what is the value of your Vc and what is the value of your Vx and the value of your Ix. So from the circuit here Vx and Ix are related. If you know the value of your Ix, it is possible to find your Vx. If you know the value of your Vx, it is possible to find your Ix. The relation between your Vx and Ix, so Vx is equal to Vx is nothing but voltage across your 12 ohms and the current flowing through the 12 ohms is that is Ix. So 12 into Ix. So 12 into Ix. So this is from the circuit. So if you know this Ix, it is possible to find your Vx. So let us, up to, let us know how to find your Vc. So voltage across this capacitor is Vc. It means that at this node, the voltage becomes your Vc. At this node, the voltage becomes your Vc. Let us apply nodal analysis. So current is outgoing, outgoing. Let us take outgoing current. Apply, apply KCL, apply KCL at node. Apply KCL at node. Let us consider this is a node of 1. Apply KCL at node 1. So by applying KCL, outgoing current, outgoing current, outgoing current. So here Vc, Vc by 5 ohms plus here the current through the capacitor is that is C into D Vc by dt. So C is 0 0.1 into D Vc by dt, D Vc by dt plus here outgoing current Vc Vc by 8 plus 12 that is your 20 so which is equal to 0 just solve this one so Vc Vc here you can write 0 0.1 dVc by dt plus Vc by 20 Vc upon Phi, which is equal to 0. 0 0.1 into dvc by dt plus if you take the lcm of this one phi 20 that is of phi 1 ja phi 4 ja so total the lcm is 20 and 1 plus 4 of vc is equal to 0. So 0 0.1, 0 0.1 dvc by dt plus 5 by 20 vc is equal to 0. So 5 1, 5 4. 0 0.1 dvc by dt plus Vc by 4 which is equal to 0. Just take 0 0.1 common. If I take 0 0.1 common dVc by dt plus Vc by 4 into 0 0.1 is equal to 0. So from this dvc by dt, dvc by dt plus 10 by 4 into vc is equal to 0. 
dvc by dt dvc by dt plus 2.5 vc is equal to 0 so this can be written as the characteristic equation of this one is d plus 2.5 is equal to 0 then d is equal to the root only it is having one root that is 2.5 then vc of t is equal to then vc of t is equal to the solution of this characteristic equation is vc of t is equal to some c into e power d into t so what is the value of d that is your minus 2 this is generalized equation so c into e power minus 2.5 into t here you got vc for t greater than 0 So VC uh, for to find your C value to find C to find C let us consider initial condition let us consider initial condition initial condition that is VC of 0 plus from the question they have given VC of 0 plus is 5 volts. So, which is equal to C into E power minus 2.5 into 0. So, from this we can write 5 is equal to C into E power 0. So, C becomes C is equal to 5. So, here we got a constant value. So, VC of T is equal to phi into e power minus 2.5 into t. So, this is your vc for t greater than 0. Here we got for vc. And then, what else we have to find? So, we have to find here vx. So, vx is equal to, so from the circuit, if you have observed here, if you observe, so this is your, we have to find vj, vx. So, at this point, you are having a vc. This VC can be divided throughout this branch. Throughout this, this branch, this branch is having totally it is of grounded. So, if I consider like this individual branch, this is of 8 ohms and this is of 2 ohms and this is your grounded. This is your 12 ohms and this is your 8 ohms. At this point, we have considered that is, that is your VC and the voltage across this one is something like Vx. From the voltage divider rule, from the voltage divider rule, these two are in series. Something like here you can have the voltage is voltage across your 8 ohms. So, throughout this branch, we are having the voltage is VC. This VC is divided among this 8 and 2 ohms. So, from this we can write Vx is equal to. So, Vx is equal to from the voltage divider rule Vc into the respective resistance by total resistance that is 20. If they have asked you to find voltage across your 8 ohms that is also obtained from Vc into 8 by 20 the respective resistance by total resistance. So, from this what is the value of Vc we got? Vc we got phi into e power minus 2.5 t into 12 by 20 that is phi 4 ja phi 4 ja 4 3 ja so they haven't asked this one so it is not mandated to find your voltage across your 8 so how much value you got 3 into e power minus 2.5 into t. This is your Vx. Next, similarly, if I want to find your Vc, that is of Ix. Ix, how you are going to find Ix? Ix is equal to. Ix is equal to. Ix is equal to. 
Vx we got. The relation between your Vx and Ix is from the question that is Vx is equal to 12 times of Ix. We got here Vx. So Vx is equal to 12 times of Ix. So from this we can write Ix is equal to Vx by 12. What is the Vx? This is your Vx. Vx is equal to 3 into e power minus 2.5 into t by 12. That is of 3 by 4. So here we are going to get So 1 by 4, that is of 1 by 4 into e power minus 2.5 into t. So we got here the 4 values, that is your Vc we got, Vc is equal to 5 into e power minus 2.5 into t and Vx we got 3 into e power minus 2.5 into t and ix we got 1 by 4 into e power minus 2.5 into t. So like this we have to find current and voltages. Thank you.